Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. I was working on two books at the same time, so um, bonus video if, if I can get it loaded. This computer that I'm borrowing is super slow, so uh, we'll give it a whirl. So I hope to see you on the table. So this is the other book uh, that I'm working on, working on two at the same time. You'll see a little bit of a different flavor here. Jenna gave me a whole bunch of uh, little gidgets and gadgets, bits and bobs, and I'm putting them in the book, which normally I do not have. So it is a two-page spread. Uh, it has a door here, a little something something in there. And this is the this is the fun part is I went ahead and put drawers in it. I don't have anything in the drawers yet. I don't know what I'm going to put in the drawers yet. I have to go through my stuff and see what I can find that's fun. Those are matchboxes. So uh, this is your project for today. Okay. Good morning. Yoga is done. Coffee is poured. Sun is up. And we are going to visit our books today. So um, we're going to do this in stages, in steps. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do with the spread yet, but I know that I want to put the matchbox drawers in my book. So uh, what I've done is I've kind of clipped these goodies out of the way, these pages out of the way. And I have measured how much I need, how much room I need for the drawers. So I've separated out those pages. It's usually a little bit tight, but I hate to use too many more pages um, in my book. It's not a very big book. So, uh, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these. Look at, I've got my baby blue. Came yesterday. What is this? My third baby blue since we've been gathering together? I think so. All right, so I'm going to put this page down. That's all I'm going to glue down because I don't want the bottom to be too thick. Then I'm going to just go every few pages and give it some Mod Podge. There's a bit of drying that needs to happen, of course. So every few pages, just put some Mod Podge there. And then I'm going to just glue the last, or the first, two pages together for stability. Hold the, the whole thing together. So this is the amount that I'm working with. Oh, I'm going to grab some, some more clips. Now I'm going to take the Mod Podge and I'm going to go along the edge of those pages. Nice generous amount there. This is what's going to hold it nice and sturdy. Go around all three sides of your pages. This is kind of like our secret compartment in the back of our book, how we glued those together. Makes it pretty sturdy. Now this is where I would sit on my book if it were still sittable. <laughs> it is no longer sittable. It's got some fun stuff going on. So I can't sit on it anymore. But 
I will rely on those clips. And I'm going to set that aside to dry. Now these matchboxes, oh this is gloriously decorated. These matchboxes were sent to me by one of our villagers from a wet uh, bridal shower and they are nice and thin. The ones you can get at the store are a little thicker. My book can't support that. So I'm very very grateful for these. So I'm going to take my X-Acto and just poke a hole in each, I'll call them drawers now. Boy, I tell you, underpants, drawers, no wonder YouTube checks me out. And then I have these three brads. They might be taller than the drawer, which I'm okay with that if they extend above the drawer. A little bit. Good. So that becomes the drawer for our book. Alright, so just poke a hole in each of your... I can fit three matchboxes in my book. Ding, ding, and ding in the page. There's going to be space here. I don't know how I'm going to utilize that yet. We will visit that. So if I bring that book back... I can put three drawers here and then we'll have a little bit of space here. So we'll visit that when we get there. I don't know if I'll do something with that or not. We shall see. Seems like a waste to um, not use it wisely. Alright, I'm going to put the little brads on each one of the drawers. Now this is Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. This was given to me by Sandy. And I have no idea what it looks like, so we're going to find out. Okay, so we're just going to spray these front and inside just so that they don't stand out all white. And I'll soak this up with a paper towel to be used at another date. I'm going to let these dry. These look really good. All right, I'm going to put them back in their little match boxes. Beautiful. Beautiful little drawers. Just waiting for a book to dry patiently. more minutes. Okay. Let's go back and take these clips off. Get some kind of a marking utensil. Pants everywhere. Stop. Okay. So I don't care if they're evenly placed. That is not my cup of tea. And what I would like to do is just trace around each box. Knowing that there's three of them. go in with my exacto and just start cutting that 
into an opening for our matchbox. So this takes a minute. Nice meditation time to tell yourself you are enough, you do enough, you have enough. And just dig this out all the way to the back cover of the book. Alright, so I got one done. Relish in your victory. Looks like I'm pretty much down to the glued pages down there. Looks like I've got one more row. I don't save these little jibbles and bits, but I save all these because these are great underpants for around the edges of the pages. Are you going to come out of there for me? One done. Let's see. we have a corner that's not very friendly so I'll go back in here and clean up the corner so that that slides back there a little bit more And I am happy with that. Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, one down. Going back in for another one. Two down. Yay, two down. One more to go. You hanging in there? It's quite a project, right? Alright, in for the last one. Okay, what I need to do now is to go back in and Mod Podge the sides of these pages that we just cut out because we want to, them to stay together. And as you can see, they're loose because not every single page was glued together. Thank you very much. That would have been tedious as if this wasn't tedious enough. So just Mod Podge inside the, this is where your drawers are gonna go. Mod Podge the bottom. This is where your drawer is going to be secured down or in. You do not want the drawer part of your matchbox in now or it will stick to the back. So you're just going to separate that out and place one in each hole. Do the best you can getting those to back up as far as you can. That don't be too crazy. All right, now, now what? Now we have to make sure that it has a cover on it, right? This is at a signature. My thread's right there, the center of a signature, I should say. Make sure you cover everything with Mod Podge or whatever adhesive you are using. It's just what I happen to use 
and I'm crazy about it, but not everybody is, and I'm okay with that. Oh, that's some snoring while dreaming, actually. All right, and I'm going to push that page down, and I'm going to give it one more page. Then I'm going to step away and allow it to dry. weakness in my signature right there so I have to bring another page over whether I want to or not. What's that crazy guy doing out there now? some leftover gesso or I used this for an example in class. Beautiful. Ta-da! I am going to bring my clamps back in. Clamp that securely so that will dry nicely. Nice and tight. you. You dry nice for us. I can't sit on you. Alright, I'm going to bring those uh, bits and pieces of paper that we cut away. I'm going to bring those back in and just work those around the edges here. bringing it out a little bit to disguise that um, the box that's sticking out just a little bit past those pages. So we'll disguise that a little bit. Using our yummy leftovers. So delicious. So I'm going to go around the outer edges of the um, pages with these newly created underpants. So you will find some of the pages that have been glued together that you cut out because as you went through the layers you glued some of the pages together. Don't toss these because they will make instant tags which are very very fun to slip into whatever. So if you just cut the corners off, pop a hole in there with your handy dandy crocodile. Let's see if the zetter will cut a corner on these. Yep. Look at there. That hole is perfectly on center, as we would expect. But look at there. An instant tag. Wonder if those will fit in the drawer. Wouldn't that be kind of fun? Yeah, too big. That's all right. Those will be fun to put in a pocket or dangle from the edge. Oh my gosh! Don't do we not throw anything away? Oh, goodness, it's a disease. <laughs> 
All right, I couldn't help myself. I covered the whole page with underpants. True confession time. I don't know what I'll do on this side. We'll see. Yeah, probably the same thing. I'm just going to cover it with the underpants. They're just too delicious to not play with. Delicious pages. Okay, here's our two-page spread filled with underpants, gorgeous underpants. M might I say? Let's see if we can fit those drawers in. I don't want them all the way to the back in case the Mod Podge is still damp in there. But I do want it to create its own space for those drawers. Pretty cool. Oh, I missed that. Now, how did, with all those underpants, how did I miss that? My, my, my. to have tunnel vision not television no television service at this house there we go let's let that dry and decide what the heck we're going to do next I love these underpants, so I don't want to cover them completely for certain. So I am going to bring my gesso in. Oh, I just filled it so it's nice and full. And get the Mod Podge out of here for now. This gorgeous silicone brush. It was a gift. And my stencil. And I'm just going to dip my silicone brush in here and draw the gesso across. There's that tummy. We have been on the table for close to four hours playing with different projects here. And my tummy says, hmm, have you forgotten? And perhaps I have. Isn't this a fun little stencil pusher? <laughs> a little gesso pusher? All right, I'm going to do this on both pages. I almost removed the stencil without you. Okay, gesso on the stencil, silicone brush, and off it comes. There we go. So we can still see those delicious underpants. Sorry, make you dizzy here. Gorgeous. Let it dry. All right, this is something else that I got on the Jenna Purge. Um, they're scribble sticks, media scribble sticks, water soluble pigments. So, and I have no idea what they look like or how they work, <clears throat> but we're going to play. We are going to play. So I'm just going to go in here and color some of this gesso. And it's a two-page spread, so I'm going to go ahead and take it across both pages of this the underpants and gesso. We're still planning on cutting out a window here, but I wanted to um, play with the page first. Shall we see what happens here? It's kind of fun so far. Fun to scribble. Scribble. 
couple sticks. That's a fun page. I have to put the Stabilo on so I can see what that's going to look like because that's pretty yummy. sandpaper in for just a couple of little scuffs. I had Handsome Hubby pick me up some coarse sandpaper yesterday. That's a fun background. Can you see where the sandpaper made some scratches? That's what I was after. There's a little bit more texture going on here. Beautiful. All right, we are going to see if we can go back in here and make a window. Could be crazy. I'm just going to eyeball it. I know the drawers come to about right there. So I'm just going to eyeball it and see if I can create a fun little opening in the back of the book. that a little straighter, couldn't we? I think so. I'm just going to dig this window out. Why not? All right. Got our window. What we need to do is put Mod Podge around here and clamp it down so that it's nice and tight. creates such a nice stiff edge in these windows. clamps out, do the best we can with the clamps, because they do not go all the way over for sure. Maybe I'll just get something heavy. I'll put a heavy book in here. That's what I'll do. I'll just put something heavy here. Keep that firm and down. Let it dry. Okay. <sighs> I put a hinge on here in your absence. I cut that uh, window hole here and then I used that as the door. I had a hinge 
I didn't have any um, attachers, so I just used some small nails on that side. And then I just used brads on this side. I'll probably replace these brads only because I'm not crazy about the sparkly. But I couldn't get my hands on the other ones right now. So I just used these for now. And you guys know that I cannot live with this color. This is way, way <laughs> too subtle. So I am going to grab my watercolors and I've chosen a deep scarlet for around the edges. And you guys know I love my watercolors nice and juicy and deep. Very well saturated. I'm supposed to be getting ready for class, but I decided to do this instead. <laughs> yes, it's true. Now, my favorite of ever, ever, ever is my ochre. Which will blend in with that deep red very nicely. She breathes a sigh of relief. We have color. Now we have something to sand off. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we are going to let that dry. That's better. I better paint something inside that window. Hmm? Give that a little bit of color. Look at those yummy underpants in there. I was just painting the inside of the door. Okay, now dry time. Now you know I'm going to go in with some sandpaper, right, to lift this up. I've got some beautiful edges here, too, on these papers. So let's get in there and grunge it up. All right, the Glimmer Mist is sitting on my desk. So let's just add some. I don't think it adds color much as it just adds a little bit of a shine. So that'll be fun. We don't need much more color, she says. Does she mean it? <laughs> I don't know. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but it puts kind of an iridescent shimmer on there. It's beautiful. All right, time to play with a focal point. I know I told you guys I wouldn't add focal points, but that was a total fib because I am adding focal points. <laughs> All right, so I have a focal point of three children. I'm gonna put a crown on her head. This is a balloon. I'm gonna have it up in the sky with a string on it. May or may not lead to his hand. I don't know. We shall see about that. And then I need something fun for her. Maybe some embellishments for these dresses. I'm going to go ahead and put them on. Now remember we've got watercolor on here. So um, we have to be careful with that. But I'm going to go ahead and glue these guys on. A little bit of Mod Podge.
so fun. I do have the name of the artist around here someplace. <laughs> Maybe I will even find it. She did a collage with these three children. So if I find her name, I will give her credit. If not, I'm going to alter it to the point where it's okay. And I am not going to mass produce this piece. So that too makes it okay to use. All right, where's our balloon? The balloon is going to be half on, half off. That's good. Want the string on the inside of him. This is a Michael Deming image. And I think we do want to tuck that in his hand, do we? Perhaps I can get that under there. Da. Probably take that balloon off. We'll see. If it can withstand the test of time, I would like to leave it there. But we shall see. All right, I have got to go to class. And ta-da! <laughs> Isn't this fun? There's a, a balloon and a string and the three kids. There's another child in here with some wings and a little rusted uh, bottle cap halo. Fun door there. And then the matchbox drawers. So now it's your turn. Go create. Go play. Go have fun.